Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is uh, P2L Forex from Namibia. Um, today, I just wanna show you how I do my analysis. And uh, uh, I'm gonna do like, top down analysis uh, from different, uh, or in different currency pair. So this week, this is what I'm expecting from all these currencies from NASDAQ. Let me start from NASDAQ. Um, yeah, let's start from NASDAQ. This is what I'm expecting NASDAQ to do. Uh, maybe a pullback like to the downside. And then maybe by Tuesday, Wednesday, I just don't know, it might then reverse up. See, this is a uptrend, the overall trend. So um uh, as you guys you can see, uh, this is Nasdaq. This is what I'm expecting. So let's see. Let's go to US 30. This is what I'm also expecting on US 30. I'm expecting for it to break this structure or this uh, previous high, and then uh, maybe come for a retest and go up uh, to go and uh, to go to the highest high. Uh, so, uh, but for now, I, it's, it looks like a, a small downtrend. Right now, it's like market is trying to range, yeah, sort of range. Um, what I'm expecting for this market is the market to go up, retest and go up, to go and touch this, uh, the highest high. So uh, if it doesn't do that, then I, I'm expecting for it to create uh, a double, a double top, and and as you guys can see, uh, this was a high, equal high. So, what can what will this what can this market do? What I think is that it might go up just to to mitigate people's here or just or to create liquidity here, to stop out people out here because this is these are equal high. It can even go there and break this uh, high uh, so that it can uh, destroy this uh, equal triple top, I might say. One, two, three. It might come there just to create, to, to, to create liquidity and then bounce down. And then maybe by Tuesday, Wednesday, it might come up again. That's what I see on your third. So, DXY, DXY, this is what I see in the on DXY. Um, <clears throat> currently, we see that uh, we're expecting for DXY to continue dropping down. Yeah, so right now I see it's like, it seemed like it created a double bottom, a double bottom. So this way equal low, there was an equal low here that was broken by this candlestick here, which was um, which was a, a, a like a, which was a liquidity type of um, uh, collection, um, whereby stop and some stop and were were, 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 were were damaged because there was this was an equal low here down if you can if you guys can see this low low. So low, so this this candle was just to to stop and yeah. So that's why I'm expecting for it to go from here. Where it is or it or to come up here just to mitigate those people that sold from somewhere here, and uh, <clears throat> which is also a confirmation uh, with the last week high. Yeah, last week high. So uh, what I'm going to expect is for the market to come up, to make a sort of a breakout, just to remove, to create liquidity somewhere here before it falls down. Also, oh, for me, yeah, I'll expect it if it breaks below, if it comes below this black line, which which is a this which is a weak the demand zone that uh, yeah demand zone that has been violated that was broken then it came down and it went again up it came down it respected that same trend line it went uh, then it came down then it 
it came here, it respected, then it went up, it came to retest. That's why I, I think it might take this, uh, or this second option whereby it, it has to go up and then come down. But if it breaks, if I just see a break from, from this um, demand zone, then I'll be selling. Yeah, because uh, from, I see the XY, I think it has to go until somewhere before it, it goes up. That's what I think. Euro USD, Euro USD, uh, Euro USD is an uptrend, so that's what we're expecting. That's what we're expecting. Um, this is a this black line is a resistance that was broken. So market went up, came down, respected, retested, went back, and came now is here. Once I see bullish candle showing here, uh, I might go. Well, I'm not might I will go. Or what I should be waiting maybe is for mark is for price to come below this equal high here, below this equal high, maybe to come until somewhere then I can go long. Or oh, it can even come and retest the previous week uh, low before it goes. Yeah. Or oh, it can do something like this. From there where it is, it can do something like this. It can come here to create equal low, which is a double bottom. And then it can induce a retail trader to go uh, long. Then maybe come a bit down before it goes up. So, be careful with the uh, be careful with the double bottom and uh, double top. There is where banks want to eat you up. Yeah, so this is what I see. Euro uh, Euro OD. This is what I also see. For me, it it it, it seems bullish. So. Uh, what I'm expecting is for this market to go because there's some imbalance here down whereby this uh, price has to go maybe until here to go and retest the previous high, weak high. And here we see there's an equal high. So if we know that this price has to come mitigate somewhere there down before it goes out, uh, I'm expecting this price to go up. This candle Z is just to induce uh, traders. So, so people they will see how oh, it's breaking a strong bullish candle kind of coming up. They'll be buying. While uh, for me, it seem it has to come and uh, create some liquidity or to destroy this uh, equal high, then come down before it goes up. This is Euro, Euro, uh, Euro um, JPY. That's what I see. Uh, currently, I, I see if I am waiting for price to come again to retest this previous um, this uh, demand zone, this demand zone. Uh, whereby I'll be expect if you can if you guys can see it is like an equal high. So if price comes a bit down, is well be looking to buy. You know, if it comes a bit down as well, we're looking for buy. If I say rejection here, yeah, then I'll go long. Yeah, because if you guys can see here, there was imbalance, and then it was destroyed here, yeah. then price came here, yeah. this was imbalanced, then the, the candle went back up. So, uh, what I'm expecting is oh, either the price to go up. The reason why I, I, I think price will respect this black line is because this is a very key level is a weekly demand zone not demand zone resistance so that was violated so this price can go up and come back down to, to, to retest this demand zone before it goes up uh, this is euro swiss um, this is what I'm expecting for it to do. Here, this price is already resting on a demand zone. Uh, at the demand zone, so I'm expecting for it to come and touch this the weekly demand zone, so that from there I'll be looking for a long position. And until here, 
to this um, supply zone, and then from there, I'll be looking for a cell. Uh, uh, then um, this is uh, pound, euro pound. This is the same thing I'm waiting, expecting for the market. There's a lot of imbalance here. There's an imbalance here, but it was already mitigated. So what I'm expecting is maybe for price to bounce a bit up to go and retest the weekly uh, supply zone before it falls, or just to come and to this imbalance, uh, just to, to come and rebalance here before it drops down. And the D is it. This is what I'm also expecting. Uh, price has been falling, falling, falling. So what I'm expecting, uh, there, there, there are some areas of mitigation where price need to go. So I'm expecting price to come until here, then uh, go up, then come and retest again last week um, low and bounce up. Okay, this is uh, NGJPY. So that's what I see. I'm expecting if price can come because this is the area of liquidity. So it has to come until here before it goes up. Or if it doesn't come in, I'll be expecting maybe for it to go up and go and test that uh, weekly uh, demand zone that was broken and then come down to retest again this uh, daily resist, uh, uh, demand zone before it goes up. Or it has to, or just within, should just have to play one of these, or either to, for it to do like this, either for it to, to go up until here and then come down here, then go up. Yeah, guys. And see card, this one, this is what I'm expecting. Um, this is just a confluence trend line that I put that in case if it breaks, but I don't use trend lines. Yeah, so this one I'm expecting for price to do what to come and delay. This is the area of mitigation, the area of liquidity whereby I'm expecting for price, maybe even a, a, a rejection just to come until it then bounce back. And then for me, I'll be looking at that for it to continue down. Or if it goes up and come and retest this area and go break this trend line, then I'm, go, I'm gonna go long. Australia GPY, this one is the same, almost like the same. They're acting almost like the same. I'm waiting for this week for it to play around this area and then put this um, weekly demand on to test and go up. This is Australian USD. This is uh, I see. Um, I'm waiting for it to come. Oh, to come and uh, test this weekly demand zone and then go up. Or I'm, or I'm expecting for it to proceed going down and reject here and go up and retest that uh, weekly uh, daily demand zone and then continue down. Something like that. But all I'm looking is to go long. Maybe by Tuesday it's gonna create Tuesday when it's gonna create the the low of the week, then it it might go up. This one Australia Swift. This is what I'm expecting. I'm also expecting to go long. I'm expecting for it to come a bit down to, because this this uh, blue line there is a is an area of liquidity whereby there's a lot of order set there. So for me, I think I'll be waiting for some sort of rejection then to go long and then after long to come again down because this is the downtrend. GB card, pound card, this is what I'm expecting. I'm expecting for this price to, since it, it wants to come down, it's consolidating, arranging, I want it to, 
I'm expecting it all for it to do like this. From where it is, maybe to come down to, to test last week low, demand zone, and then from there, maybe to do something to create a lower low, a lower high, and then to go like this. So that it so that it can <clears throat> so that it can it can come and retest this weekly demand zone. Or I'll be expecting for it to go up to come and retest again the weekly uh, supply zone before it comes down. Or just to come in because the, it seems like there's an imbalance here. There's an imbalance here because this was an institution candle, which was already mitigated, so it came. So, oh, I'm expecting for it to come until somewhere here before it falls down. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is uh, Swift JPY. But this one I'm expecting for it uh, if it reject here, because this is a weekly demand zone and also with a confluence with the uh, daily the supply zone, weekly supply zone and daily supply zone, they're all my comp the confluences that I think this might fall. Um, so there are two options that I'm looking into. It is this one we buy. If it re continue rejecting it, I'll wait it to fall until here, then to come. You come and create this double bottom and then or oh, just to break something like that and from there to go up. Or oh, if it break this uh, two confluential area, I'm expecting for it to break and retest and then go up. Since it's an uptrend. That's it. This is what I'm expecting. I told you guys, I don't use trend line, but these are just um, Confluences just for me to have a lot of like to be confident when placing my order. So this is an uptrend. Huh? Mm. So it's creating like a descending wage, something like that. So I'm expecting for price to come back to come and test uh, the weekly, uh, the, the daily demand zone. And then from there, uh, then from there, because it here there a lot, there is an imbalance here, and there are a lot of other sitting here. So I'm waiting for to come back here down before buying. But if it breaks down and retest, because this is a very key level, uh, weekly demand, uh, demand zone. If it breaks it, then I'll wait for retest and continue down. All right, we are done. So we are done. We are done. We are done. So. Just want to, to tell you guys that this is how the market moves, you understand? Let me show you something. You know, uh, the market, what my strategy, what they do is like, it's not even my strategy, I'll just say this is how my price move. If you know that your overall trend is a downtrend, if you know that your overall, uh, your, our trend on a daily four hour or weekly is a downtrend. What you do when you see price on those lower time frame coming up, creating some uh, trend line, like some up moves, like an uptrend, don't be don't be surprised or don't be don't be scared. All you need to do is just to look for uh, places whereby most people would want to sell, you know, because as we are trading with, with the banks. So what do you do? You just look for where there are some imbalance, where there are some uh, demand zone. And if you see there's a demand zone like this, and you see prices going there to that higher time frame demand zone, what you're expecting, expect for price to make a breakout and then come back down like this because this is a downtrend. It's not an uptrend. This is just a temporarily uh, uh, short uh, uptrend, you know? Then you, you sell. The same when it's an uptrend. It's doing like this, doing like this, doing like this, doing like this. 
if you see it's coming down and did not break any law, did not disrespect this, if you see it's coming until the um, uh, with that those smaller time frame coming like this, as long as this is a pair of liquidity, if you see it breaks below, sometime it doesn't mean it's changing direction, it's just coming to grab some liquidity that they are set here down before it goes, because them they always want to buy cheaper, even selling like there on a good price, understand? So all what we need is passion. Passion is the key to this game. Passion is the key to this game, you know? Even when it's ranging, you know the market is coming from an, a down, uh, up a downtrend. Then it's ranging, ranging. Then it's if you see the potential is to go down to continue down, then this is what you should wait. Sometimes it will it will come. Then it will try to go up just to induce you to, to go long, long, long. And then come here, create some sort of. Uh, retest and go, then you'll be buying here while it's just there to create some liquidity. Then when it goes, it will come hard, you know? Yeah, so you must watch out, must watch out. Just be patient. If the, if the trade is not playing your setup, don't trade, just leave. And risk management is the key, risk management, risk. If you don't risk, every time you'll be blowing. Sometimes you know, your setups are fine, but because of high risking and your account won't be able to uh, maintain that uh, movement. So guys, uh, trading is very simple. It's just that we we, we, pay, we, we we just try to make it as if a is a is a is a head of is a is a beast of seven head. Well, it's just simple. You understand? So let me just choose any pair. So that I can analyze, then uh, you see how I, I analyze. <clears throat> what the, what the, the way I, I analyze uh, my strategy, it works on, even on uh, volatilities, all these things, it works. So let me take uh, US CAT, because it's what I don't take there on my watch list. So this is US CAD. But this is a one hour time frame. So what I do, I go to my, let me see my monthly time frame just for me to see what's, sorry guys, what's going on. So this is what I see. Uh, this is what I see. We see that uh, it has been going down here 20, from 20, uh, 2005. Then it went up and it came down again. So let me break down. Let me break this thing down. Look, as you guys you can see, when price was coming down, it went up, come down, came down, went up, then it came down. They were in balance here, in balance here. Price is to come and mitigate all this area before it comes down. So one of the examples that I was telling you guys is when you know that it's a downtrend and you see that price is trying to go to those areas. This is a double top here. This is a, an equal high. So what will price do? Price will come here to induce you to buy a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Then guess what? It came down. That was just to trap traders, you understand? Then it came down. You see? Um, and then uh, guess what happened? Uh, I mean, guess what happened? Then price went up. You see, many people would be, many people would be, uh, would be selling here. Yeah. This was a breakout of structure. It is. I right, guys, sorry, I don't know how to draw. So yeah, let me just show you guys. Okay, so many. The, this will be a, a, a supply zone. Price came here. Uh, some people will be already selling from here. They'll be selling from here. They'll get some pip, right? This is a lot. This is a monthly time frame. It's a lot. 
So, but then guess what happened? It broke, it came and the test went, it came again, it came again, it came again, then it was just consolidating somewhere here. Okay, now look what's happened. We know that this is a downtrend. Yeah? What we can say right now, price is just uh, ranging between here and E and, and here somewhere there. So what, what we can do, if we put, if we look for this, um, uh, if we, if price went until that point, it's because the imbalance area where price should go, see? So now, what we see now, price is going down, you know, it's down. So for us to be sure that, okay, this price is really going down, because here we see that there's a sort of uh, demand zone, understand? So this price, it, it might, from here, it might go up. Next month, it might start going up, you know? It might start going up, like, because we know that it has created, like, um, because it, it broke this high here, this lower, this lower high. So what we're expecting is for it to maybe from here to go up. Because we see it's like changing for a direction to go like this. So yeah. No? So this is what I see. I, I see, okay, this is what the price is doing. So me spotting this area, it, it will already tell me, okay, this is the area where I'll be putting my eyes, where I'll be uh, paying more attention to it because you see, if these are equal low. So this price can do like this. It, will, it can continue down just to induce people thinking that it's going down and then go up. Or if it continue, coming down is because there are some sort of imbalance here down. It's because there are a lot of money, liquidity sitting here. So which will make this market just to come and then go up. Or for me, it, if it comes until this area, then it's, it might be, do like this and continue down to come again down here. Yeah, so, um, why do we, for me, so, so what I'm going, for me, what I'm going to, for me, I'll just be looking like on, into this area. This is the area, the area where I'll be watching to go long. So now I, I already know, I know that, okay, here there is an equal high, which has to be broken, <laughs> you understand? So then I go to my, uh, let, my weekly time frame, Weekly time frame, okay. If you if if you guys can see, you will see that this is an uptrend. You no, know? weekly it shows an an uptrend. So this is a very key level that we spotted on our monthly time frame. So we know that okay, the market was doing like this: higher, 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 low, higher, higher, low. Then it came, and it as long as it doesn't break this. Uh, higher low, we are still bu bullish. Understand? We are still bullish. So um, we are still bullish. So um, then market came down. Didn't break this low. It went again up. It went again to, to create a double top. It came down. So right now it's like we are consolidating. So I'll be looking for this market to go up. I'll be looking for this, but before it goes up, I, I'm looking for a sort of, I want to see market to create some, like, like there are a lot of pending orders sitting here, stop losses, many people that will be buying early. So I'll be waiting for, because when, when, when retail traders are selling, uh, the banks are just watching. Banks, uh, when retail traders are buying, the banks are selling. So. I'll be waiting for the market bank to uh, the market to go a bit up and then come down, then go up. That's what I'll be expecting on this just uh, card like this. That's what I'll be waiting. Let 
the, let the buyers go in, then I'll be waiting because many people that will be putting this will be an area of liquidity, will be a lot of money standing there. So prices to come in and take them out before it goes. So, and then uh, what I do, I'll just go to my four. Let me go to my four hour time frame because I already know. <clears throat> Because I already know my area of interest. So area of interest. So um, yeah. Uh, okay. So this is what I'll be looking. Okay. Mm, yeah, so as we can see on our four hour is already starting to do yeah, we can already see that on the four hour is already doing what I'm expecting. you see when many people they were buying here yeah, buying it, but price came back, it created a this engulf candle. So from me, <clears throat> from me, I can get ready to go long. I can get ready to go long. Yeah, for me, I can get ready to go long. So, all right, yeah, this is what I was expecting. So now let me look for my, uh, and, uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> so um okay now there's where we go if you see, let me go to my one hour time frame. Uh, I my one hour time frame. One hour time frame this is what it's showing me, it's showing me sort of consolidation. It's a downtrend, yes, but um, this is what I'll be expecting. Uh, let me try to find out the man drawn. This is my, this is my demand zone. This dead demand zone, this is my, this is the demand zone. So, <clears throat> this is the demand zone. Ish. Sorry guys. Um, Okay. So what I'm going to expect here is for this price, <clears throat> uh, all I will consider this as uh, I'll consider this as the liquidity area. So. Uh, So this is what I'll be doing. Okay. So I'll change, bring it here. And then my stop loss will be putting in. So what I'm going to expect from this pair is for price to come a bit down, because I see already that this is just this was just a, a this was just a liquidity collector. 
Yeah. So what I'm expecting for this market is for price to come a bit, or to come and retest again here and go up. Because there's a lot of imbalance here. There's an imbalance here. There's a lot of imbalance here. The prices to go then call and mitigate those traders then. So, or the price to come down and retest again is the daily demand zone before it goes up. Yeah. This is what I see. And this is what I think the market is going to do. Yeah, this is what I think market's gonna do. You know, yes, God is, is a downtrend, but this is what I'm expecting or we're expecting. <clears throat> yeah, so expecting for it to go. If it come until late, then maybe it's gonna press a bit back and continue going up. But another way what it can do, it can maybe if it breaks down here, it can come and retest this uh, weekly demand zone, then be, uh, try to do something like that, like this, and then maybe continue going down. We don't know, but for now, we'll just be looking for to go long. Yeah. Now we'll be looking to go long. Uh, yeah, so guys, this is how I trade. This is how I trade, this is how I trade. I don't use a lot of indicators, software, what, what I use, pure price action. So yeah, so I wish you guys all the best and um, never give up. You know, when, when, when you, if you started, it's because you know that there is a future in Forex. So. Don't be, don't follow too many people on social media showing big money, them making big money. Don't do that. Just stick on yourself. Yeah, so this is been to Forex from Namibia. So guys, let's push, let's push. So if you like the way I do my analyze, just uh, like and subscribe the channel and you can even do me a favor to share it to your friends. So, the more you guys would be liking my videos and viewing, commenting, the more I'll be doing more educational videos. So uh, thank you very much.